Hi friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and it's time for another one of our online summer crafts for friends who are 10 and under. So if you've picked up that kit from our library this summer, then be sure to reach in and grab the supplies that I'm about to show you, because this week we're going to be making a basket weave fish. And if you don't have one of our bags, that's okay too, because you can always follow along with supplies from home. In order to make our basket weave fish, we're going to need just a few things. We're going to need an orange sheet of construction paper, some yellow construction paper, and I've already gone ahead and cut mine into half an inch strips, a scrap of white construction paper, our fish template, and I've already cut mine out, a piece of cardstock or white construction paper, our light blue paint and a brush, a marker, scissors, some bubble wrap, and Finally, we're going to need a surface that we can paint on. So go ahead and gather all of that up and we'll get started. In order to make our basket weave fish, the first thing that we're going to need to do is paint our background. And in order to do that, we're going to get our bubble wrap, our sheet of cardstock, and our paint and paint brush. So the next step that we're going to take is we're going to take our paint brush and we are just going to go ahead and paint our bubble wrap. Now, it might not look like a lot of paint is going onto our bubble wrap, but trust me, it will turn out A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and cover that with paint. Once we've applied paint to our bubble wrap, then we are going to gently lift it up, being sure to not get paint everywhere. And then we're going to set our piece of cardstock down. At this point, we can go ahead and flip over our bubble wrap onto our piece of paper. And then we're gonna go ahead and gently press down so that we transfer our paint onto our paper. Once we apply a little bit of pressure throughout our entire sheet, and we're happy with how it looks, we are gonna go ahead and lift our bubble wrap to reveal this bubble pattern. Now, there is still going to be some paint on our bubble wrap, so we want to be very careful not to get that everywhere. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half and set it somewhere out of the way so that we can uh, dispose of it. Then we're gonna go ahead and let our background for our basket we fish dry because we wanna use this awesome bubble art. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. In the meantime, while our background is drying, we can go ahead and take our fish template and our orange sheet of construction paper and trace our fish template onto the paper. Then we're going to go ahead and take our pair of scissors and we're going to cut out our fish. Next up, we are going to take and make a few extra cuts into our fish. And in order to do that, we just want to fold our fish in half in this direction. So we'll fold our fish right down the center, just like that. Then, we're going to take our pair of scissors and starting about here on our fish, where the body begins and not the face, we're gonna go ahead and cut some even straight lines just a little bit apart from each other on our fish's body. And what this is going to do is that this is going to create space for us to weave our fish. So now that I've done that, I have all of these little tabs like this across my fish's body. <clears throat> then the next thing that we're going to do is open our fish up and we should have these slits in the fish like this and that's going to be the start of our weaving. So we'll take these strips of yellow paper that I cut earlier, again mine are about a half an inch, and we're going to start weaving them by going over and under in repetition through the slits that we just made. So for instance, if I go under this piece here, then I wanna go over this piece next to it. And just weaving our paper through our basket fish. Once we've made it through all the layers, then we can go ahead and get our pair of scissors, trim off this bit on the end, take our glue stick, and we're going to glue the ends of each row down to our fish to make sure that it stays in place. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and get another sheet of yellow paper and continue weaving 
throughout our entire fish's body. So from the front of our fish, it'll look like this. The next line that we do, we are going to want to go ahead and start in the exact opposite. So in this case, we would start over this piece and under this piece, over the next piece, and under the one following that to create the opposite pattern of what we have on the row above. And we'll just repeat that across our entire row. Once we've done so, then we are going to, once again, take our glue and our scissors, trim the ends short, and glue them to our fish's body. So we can go ahead and trim right here, and then glue the ends of our paper to our fish. Now that we're getting the hang of it, we're going to continue this process the whole way down our fish's body. As you can see, it got pretty tricky to weave my fish by the end of it. Uh, we did not have a lot of room left to work with, but we weaved from top to bottom on our fish's body, and now we have a pattern that looks like this. Then, the final step to decorating this fish is that we're going to take our scrap of white construction paper, and we're going to just cut out a circle for our fish's eye. Now, this can be any size you like, but I actually recommend that you keep it kind of on the smaller side so that it doesn't look out of place on your fish. I cut out a piece about this big. Then we're gonna glue that onto our fish as well, making sure that we glue it on the right side so that uh, the top and bottom of our fish are correct. And how you'll know that it is the top of your fish is that it has this one fin and the handful of pieces hanging down. Then we're gonna take either a scrap of black construction paper or in my case, a marker, and we're going to color in our fish's eye. And once we've done that, then this fish is going to be complete and it's time to put them in the home that we have created. So we're going to take our fish that we wove and our bubble background that we painted and we're going to glue them together. Now my bubble background is still drying, so I'm gonna let that finish drying and I'll show you what mine looks like at the end of the video. Well friends, after letting our bubble background dry and gluing our basket weave fish to it, I have something that looks like this. And I think that that is pretty cool. But more importantly, I'd like to see how your craft turned out. So if you're tracking your summer reading on Beanstack, then be sure to send us a picture via the summer reading Shutterbug badge. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for updates not only about the summer crafts, but everything else that we're doing here at the library. And as always, Happy crafting, everybody. Friends, are you also participating in our Palmer Summer Reading Program on Beanstack and logging your reading and activities? Well, if you are, you'll definitely want to enter this crafts code, which for the Summer Craft Pack is FISH, which will be right here on your screen. So be sure to enter it for your Beanstack badge and some prize tickets that you can enter into our drawings up until August 6th.